Steve and Suzanne from our little camper adventures. Welcome back. We are on our first trip for 2023 season and we're heading to West Virginia to Big Bend Campground. We're excited. We're taking you along. We had a uh, eventful uh, first part of our trip. I crashed the drone so hopefully it works and we can get it repaired and work working good for this trip. Otherwise, oh well. <laughs> but we'll uh, take you along for this trip. Welcome to our little camper adventures where we put a lot of fun into a small space and have the time of our lives. In four miles, the destination is on your right, Big Bend Campground. We are all set here at Big Bend Campground here in, I think it's called Cabins, West Virginia. We didn't take you long setting things up because we just wanted to get set up and get kind of situated. We grabbed some wood from the camp host, which are wonderful people, and got everything all set up with the screen tent and then pop, we have a fire. And Steve's gonna pull out the Starling just to see if that works and uh, just kind of enjoy your relaxing evening, have some dinner, and uh, probably go to bed because we are both tired. We were up pretty early this morning, getting things set up. And we love it here, it's so peaceful. Well, good morning, we had a very rainy night. It downpoured multiple times, but we actually slept pretty good. Um, we're out and about a little bit this morning. Steve is doing some work on the computer using Starlink to connect. So um, I'm just kind of out walking around, enjoying the sights a little bit. We may take a little drive around and um, just take a look a little, a little bit more around the area and then uh, we'll go from there. driving around we, we left the campground and we're just kind of exploring the area uh, around Big Bend campground um, beautiful area um, you kind of have some like a road that goes along the um, south fork of the Potomac and it's really cool very windy very windy
to Petersburg and just drove around, um, took a look around, got some gas, and uh, we're on our way back to the campground going through Smoke Hole Road. Smoky. Smoky Road. Smoky Smoke Hole. I can't even say it. Smoky Road Hole. <laughs> that is what it is. Smoky Hole Road. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we're tired and hungry, so that is why I'm mixing my words up. But uh, we're on our way back to the campground. We'll see you there. We saw this little guy or gal walking across the campground area. So we're back at the campsite where we had a late dinner. We had some uh, grilled cheese sandwiches and we're just having a little bit of a snack right now. But we wound up uh, coming back and filling up some water jugs to fill up the camper with some water. Um, we didn't do that when we came in because um, we really couldn't find a place to fill up the camper. So we decided just to fill up the jugs and then fill up the camper here. Uh, but while doing so, I actually put the water jug in the camper and this will probably never ever happen to anybody else, but there was a snake in our car. <laughs> I went up grabbing the snake and throwing it out. It actually took a beeline to come back into the car. Um, and then we decided to do a thorough search after that happened to make sure there was no other snakes in the car. Uh, we think it came in from the camp host uh, wood that we had purchased. Um, so if you ever do that where you put the wood in your car after getting it from like a bundle of wood, maybe shake it out a little bit or bang it just to see what's in there. That was probably where the snake came from. Crazy. Um, but. That's that's what happened. So uh, we're gonna um, finish up our snacks here and uh, probably go to bed and then wake up in the morning and uh, do some more exploring. All right, see you then. Have a good night. Well, good morning. We are out and about. We had a good night rest. Good night's rest, and we're up in the morning. We're heading back to Petersburg. Um, Steve's going to do some work on his computer, so we're bringing the Starlink with us. So hopefully we can get a better view of the northern sky um, from where we were, where we are at the campsite. It's a little bit um, covered with trees in the mountains, so um, we want a little bit of a better connection for Steve. So we're heading into Petersburg and probably going to maybe do some sightseeing after that. So we'll uh, bring her along. All right, see you later. Steve is done doing some work. We actually uh, plugged in the Starlink into the Jackery and have the solar panels out. I probably should have uh, showed you the, show you guys that. But anyway, uh, we're on our way to Smoke Hole Caverns and then maybe to Seneca Rocks after that and then probably going to head to um, the campground after that and have some dinner. We're starving. Um, so just wanted to let you know what we're doing. We are at the Seneca Rocks Discovery Center in the National Forest here in West Virginia. The building is closed, I guess open on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays at least at this time in May. But we just decided to kind of take a little walk around. So this is Seneca Rocks. Um, we just decided to take a drive around and um, leave the campsite and just enjoy some of the nature here in West Virginia. It looks beautiful.
so we're back at the campsite after doing some running around, taking a look at some sites, and we're I've uh, gotten freshened up. I got a fire going, got some dinner cooking, and just hanging out, enjoying our campsite. This is actually a really nice campsite. Um, pretty big, and so let me show you the other side down that hill, down pretty far is the south fork of the Potomac River. You can hear it a little bit from here. Love this place so far. morning we had a good night last night we actually sat by the fire um watched the star look at the stars and now we're having breakfast we made toast with a toaster that is less than a thousand watts um had some eggs and we have bacon here so we're gonna have a good breakfast we'll see you later he's throwing fish into the river our dinner here we got a fire going and I cooked our pizza over the fire we're gonna enjoy some beers get our local beers and uh, have a good night we'll see you in the morning well we had a rainy day today we actually just was super lazy Spent it in the camper. We had the Starlink going, so we were able to check emails, Facebook, that kind of stuff. And then now we're gonna have some dinner. Very simple. We had some spaghetti, already pre-made um, spaghetti and meat sauce that I made at home and froze and then defrosted. And some beers and uh, gonna enjoy the evening watching some YouTube on our phone. And uh, go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Well, it seems like the rain has stopped. And now we just have some fog. Well, good morning. We slept in a little bit more than usual, but woke up to an overcast day. I'm having my oatmeal, overnight oats, with some fruit and some tea. And um, Steve's just kind of getting ready. And we're just either gonna hang out here or just take a drive around, we're not sure.
<laughs> Having a good time? Really good time. Yep. So am I. Mm -hmm. Except for the snake in the car. Yeah, Having just, a good time. That was just an adventure. <laughs> and, uh, oh wait, crashing the drone. <laughs> I mean, me crashing the drone. Bummer. Yeah. Sorry, no drone shots of the campsite and campground area. Next time, hopefully. We are hitched up and ready to leave. We don't want to leave. We love this place. This is our campsite. Really pretty spacious. A lot of these um, spots in this campground are about the same. Some a little bit smaller and some a little bit bigger, but otherwise, overall, really like this place. less glamorous part of camping. <laughs> We're gonna do the dump station but Steve's having a little bit of a trouble putting on gloves because his hands are super sweaty and he's hot. We're going to empty the black tank and the gray tank. We will spare you the details. from the campground area. We loved it here. We will definitely come back if we have an opportunity. Um, the camp posts were awesome. The campsite was awesome. We had a lot of space in between each of the campsites. Actually, there wasn't a lot of people at the campground. There's only, I think, like 40 something sites um, at this campground. So we like these little, little campgrounds. They kind of suit our needs. Um, we don't need full hookups. We don't need, um, we just need to get, be able to get water somewhere and maybe a dump. And that's kind of our priority typically. Sorry for the bumpiness here. <laughs> but um, we had a great time and uh, we'll definitely be back. Definitely be back. We stopped at Shrev's, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, store. And right at the intersection of the roads, kind of take it to the campground.
thank you very much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed our adventures to and from West Virginia and the Big Bend Campground area. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the like button, please. And uh, we will see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching our little camper adventures. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you liked the video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with others. Leave a comment so we can get to know you better. Thanks again.